Someone turned the punk re on, please. Tang. Forgot to do it. It was 1984 and I heard Run rapping back. Larry Laugh Caddy wanna break a bitch. 22 years later and the block belonged to me. Underground Kang for life, Pimp C. On my first record at, at the age of 16. Rapping back, moving, working, can he pay me, tip and lean. We was the first niggas talking about wood wheel. Make it up bored, that's why I'm so trill. Now everybody wanna bite my swagger. Roll like a stone, like my name, Mick Jagger. Say it before, had to tell your hoes again. Run a drum machine like my name, Roger Lean. Like, write the rhyme, do the beat, the hook, and the mix. Records don't sell, I'm back to selling bricks. I went gold but never saw my soul to bang And bitch it hit you with that dang I'm a underground Kang Kang It's everything to be an underground Kang Underground Kang I sacrificed everything to be an underground Kang Kang Nigga I risked everything to be an underground Kang Underground Kang And nigga I kill everything to stay an underground King 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 Kid. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Bunkery Show. You know, as a guy who's generally very calm, I'm a very calm person, you know what I mean? I need some intensity like this to make sure that the blood rolls, right? The blood gets flowing, right? So that's what it be. That's what it be, ladies and gentlemen. We need some more intensity around here. <laughs> yeah, right, Valerius. Right, right. But anyway, uh, so that got the blood flowing to start this shit. Like I said, Hendrix not going to be here as far as I know. But we're going to talk about some shit. I have three hard things to talk about. Uh, so last week we put Pat Mietic into the low T, the low T segment for last week because uh, he was placing hits from three and a half miles away on me so you know we uh set up a, uh, a high or a high testosterone meal plan for him which should ship to his house by next week but the title of this shit here is principle versus loss right and i sometimes talk about how a lot of these complaints they're not really made out of you know losing anything death is cheap around here right they're really made out of principle. Back in the day, I'm gonna boomer myself right now, but back in the day, the only times that I made complaints for the most part was if I was getting harassed. Like I was getting DM'd over and over again and I physically could not play the game. And complaints used to be like that back in the day and then times devolved, I would say. The soy got up, the tea got lower. And then people would complain for basically anything. Um, but they would complain mostly out of principle and not out of losing anything. So, I, and you know, whenever I'm in the complaint section, you know, something's up. So, this week I saw a complaint here by Crunky. And there's a lot of cop complaints on Pat and Yedek over the past couple of weeks. A lot of which uh, I watch the video and laugh a bit because it's a lot of it is a uh, lack of responsibility taken by felons and then they die without the star when they could have actually you know stayed alive and whatever uh, you know I'm a very bad very huge victim blamer in that respect so I guess I put that in my uh, thought processes but when I saw that complaint by Crunky on Pat I was like you know and he, we, we, again here's my initial thoughts I'm like bro number one as he you know puts his sentences there to try to validate the complaint I'm like bro, bro um, he wasn't in the range the entire time right 
He's throwing up the warnings, the freezes and all that. And I mean, again, if you wanted to not get shot, first of all, let's just talk before he gets the star. If you wanted to stay alive, have the highest chance to stay alive, and you realize you ain't getting away, no, he, he told me later on he had a plan, but uh, just in a general sense, if you run away from a fucking cop, and there's really no end in sight, you're delaying the inevitable, and if you get the star from it, and you die, it's your fault. Um, although later on he told me that he was trying to get back to Pat, Mur Pat Murek's car, which he had forgotten to lock, which I guess wouldn't be a thing in this situation. But, again, the mechanic is... You get cold, told to pull over or whatever it is, freeze four times, you get the star, and it's rain down. Guns rain down on your body. You get that ass destroyed, dead is dead. So, when I looked at that, I was like, nope, there ain't nothing here. This happens all the damn time. It happens to me. It happens to others. It happens all the damn time. There really ain't nothing different about this complaint. If you wanted to not die, you should turn the fuck around. You know, I, I really do think I alluded to it a few weeks ago, but I really do think that the American cop culture around guns and cops and citizens and killing unarmed people has really either that or that plus the just general 5M RP etude mixed in has kind of degenerated uh, cop versus civilian relations on this server. You know what I mean? Uh, but when it comes to principle versus cost, as far as I know, Crunky's got like nine figures. And as we'll get to in a bit later, I want to talk about what Wizzy said earlier this week, or yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Obviously, when you got nine figures and you get that ass destroyed and you lose 35k, clearly the complaint is not being made out of loss. It's being made out of principle. And I don't give a damn about your principle. I guess other people care about your principle, but I don't give a damn about your principle. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't care about, you know, Cole used to be around here talking about, is the respect, bro? I don't give a damn about that. I don't give a damn about your principle. All right? If you're out here... Dying a fair death, which Pat Mutic can you know Pat Mutic had no problem doing that in that complaint. I, yeah, what do you do? I mean, you're losing 35k, it ain't shit. Move on. But I'll I'll turn right around and uh put a pin into Pat Mutic because in the James Townley complaint that was was it earlier or earlier this morning or whatever it is, uh now this is something this is more of a what how, how can you say it's I don't know what to say I guess we'll figure it out but uh, so James Townley because I always talk about victim blaming right so James Townley is running from cops or a cop he's a warrant blah blah that yet it comes in in a Molotov right so I'm not too sure what's going on here it could be the low T it could be his lack of flying ability I'm not too sure what it is but he flies his nose into the ass of the car of James Townley. Pause. Blows up. James Townley gets uh, credit for the kill. And then you see in chat the sarcasm Pat Mutic puts in there. Then he plays it. At that point, ladies and gentlemen, at that point, that is where you're trying to be a smartass. And if you're trying to be a smartass then, at least for me, the normal rules would not be in place. Because if you're being a smartass, forcing a death on yourself to be able to trigger a hit on somebody who can't be victim blaming the situation, because James Townley, although he also needs to grow a cock in many situations, unlike the crunky complaint, James Townley did absolutely nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong now i understand and respect where evan came from and what he did in that complaint topic but i come from a thought of if you trying to be a smart ass 
then I can figure that out. If it's obvious enough, obviously. So, at that point, it's like, okay. Now Pat Mudek needs to have his, uh, his high tea meal sent to him right away. And as bad as James Townley is, Pat Mudek should have gotten wrecked for that, in my opinion. So, that's really where it'd be. So, I guess we'll see about that, but uh, that's where I stand about the Pat Mutic complaints right now. Uh, so, now we're going to actually get to the low T segment of the week. So, again, last week, the low T segment of the week went to Pat Mutic. But this time, I'm kind of a little sad that Movie Maker, excuse me, uh, excuse me uh, Hendrix not here because the low T moment of the week is going to go to Movie Maker. I fucked it up. So, Last week, and again, this is principle versus loss. I don't know how much money Movie Maker has, but I remember he was a uh, he got a lot of cash, so I could assume he has nine figures, but I'm not too sure. So there are three types of gamers, I suppose. Three types of people who play games: people who play competitively, people who play for fun, and people who play to complain. Movie Maker is a guy who plays to complain. So. Last week, he was getting worn on purpose, which is completely fine, right? Sometimes you want to sit back and just get some cop chases around here. Absolutely no problem with that, right? I love it. So, he was doing some shit, right? He was uh, trying to get on top of houses with SUVs and just stay there, right? Which is interesting, I suppose. I guess he was trying to bait bad cop conduct, which I already don't like. I mean, I already, you know, unless I don't like baiting. I just, you know, it's 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 kind of uh, what Pat Mutic was doing, in my opinion. Uh, what is it being a smartass? Let's say. Um, so cops get Movie Maker off of the roof somehow. He falls in the water. <laughs> non-starred and you know how i feel about killing non-starred warrants in the water i really don't give a damn because like i said felons should have some responsibility whether or not they stay alive or not it's a two it's a two-way street ladies and gentlemen so he, he uh falls in the water gets shot up and gets uh, uh, uh and gets mad and i'm like you did it to yourself i mean first of all you don't lose anything well I don't remember if he had a fair death or not, to be honest with you. He probably did. But at that point, it was like, okay, well, you you put yourself in that situation. So, are you mad? You know, it's, it's not only a cop's responsibility, right? It's, if you're out here as a warrant doing dumb shit, trying to uh, force ways to complain and shit. Well, I mean, it's, part of your, it's partly your fault that you got your ass destroyed. That was number one. Uh, but the more egregious thing was, later on, I suppose, he died as a Star Wars. He got upset in chat, started to call it a DM server, and then he said he could have tased. And then everybody in chat was like, bro, there is no taser. So, this is a situation of, we talking shit. We complaining, we bitching. We are actively coming into the game to have a reason to complain. Which, again, I don't think is most of the reason why people come to play a game to begin with. And you make a fool of yourself because you don't know that the taser has been gone for a month. Or whatever how long it's been. So at that point, it's like, why should I even listen to you get angry? Because if you're out here to try to bait people into getting destroyed, why should I bother? You know what I mean? It goes back to the principle versus loss. If you're out here, you're getting DM'd over and over again. You're losing cash by the droves. Go ahead. Get that complaint on. I completely understand you. But if you're out here 
you got a nine figure bank accounts and something just doesn't go your way you die and you either lose nothing or you died because of your own negligence then that is complaint based on principle to me and i don't give a damn about your principle that's what it'd be if i look at something and i see oh you're gonna complain this person just so that he gets his balls dragged through the streets on the concrete just to have that feeling when hot tub a few weeks ago on discord was like i get my dopamine he was probably memeing but i'm still gonna say it i get my dopamine off of putting a complaint on somebody i don't want to hear it somebody else might hear it but i don't want to hear it it's a two-way street ladies and gentlemen all right cops have responsibilities right don't kill non-star warrants in those situations obviously but when i see warrants die based on partially their own volition i don't it, it's partly your fault it's a two-way street ladies and gentlemen you know and we just can't one-to-one -one carry over oh uh, a cop killed a felon in real life and then just one-to-one -one carried over into the game because that's bullshit in my opinion because first of all when you get killed by a cop in real life you don't respawn when you get killed by a cop you don't lose 0.5 percent of your net worth it ain't nothing so i'm not trying to one-to-one -to -one that we're trying to put this in context you know what i mean so speaking of that and speaking of the taser or uh, the stun gun which would have helped Kronky in the situation by the way wizzy i saw he uh, reacted to uh the thing that i said in Kronky's complaint which I, I was being sarcastic but i don't know how he took it but i was being completely sarcastic about the, the stun gun uh comment that i made in this complaint topic um but he did then say some things and then there are others that if i am not misrepresenting this made it seem like it is an overwhelming thought that the taser should come back now i i took a look at the uh results of the um what was the word the survey i only really skimmed through it uh but and I don't have any statistics here, but I, upon looking at it, thought, ah, oh, shit, this is pretty mixed. There's a lot of people that want the taser back, or, or want it to be adjusted, and a lot of that want it to be gone. I never thought there was, like, a majority um, decision based on people who were uh, saying stuff in it. But I uh, just want to take a look here at what Lizzie said. just want to C. Let me just, uh, there was an excerpt I wanted to read here, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, and he, he kind of echoed a bit what I, what I'm trying to say here. Uh, something about warrants resisting by deliberately escaping is both realistic and a choice they make. Of course, a cop can chase you until they maybe arrest you. But said cop has no, uh, no way of knowing if he hasn't shot you, if you're unarmed. So if a warrant that's resisting steals a car for what the cop does, then I guess the felon's good as dead. Uh, but there was something else I really wanted to read, because he had a very good point. I just don't know where the fuck it is. Uh, this is why I should have links here. I do have links for this shit, but I can't. Let me just put links in the thread chat and see if it actually works. Because uh, I don't want to read this shit, honestly. Ah, okay, yeah, this is part of the, uh, the death really means nothing around here. Uh, let's see. I want fun in my life, goddammit. I want to at least know I'm taking the risk. Um, uh, I want to at least know I'm taking the risk. I'm shooting this cop, and I know if I fail to kill him, then I'm dead. It seems most people really don't internalize that. It feels like, uh, it's my ass or his. 
Why do we stop the want to live? We're afraid enough from taking risks in our lives because it can lead us into financial ruin. Now we're too afraid to resist arrest to not lose 25k e money. I mean, listen, I, I don't, I don't see a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Don't see a lie. I'm not too sure if I see. It. Let me just put these other links in the chat to see if I can. Because I put these in, I never copy pasted. I probably should have copy pasted uh, what he actually said. I don't know, this is where the complaint was. And then uh, this one, let me just see where this one goes to. I probably already read it. Oh, okay, yeah, I already read it. But yeah, Wizzy ain't telling a lie, ladies and gentlemen. He ain't telling a lie, yeah. And uh, after. It's not only one person, obviously, right? But after. The stun gun being gone and the stun gun, um, or excuse me, the stun gun being here and then the stun gun being gone for as long of time as it's been gone. I'm of the singular opinion that I think we can do without the shit. I think we can do without it. You know what I mean? Um, but when it comes to not wanting to die, I really do think that people need to start using resist resisting as a tool rather than a detriment just like how as wizzy was alluding to for example you know a lot of people in life they have debt and think it's a problem or a debilitating thing but there are ways where you can use debt to better yourself or manipulate debt to get yourself out of a bad situation which most people really don't understand which yeah so whenever i turn warrants and shit like that i try if i want to commit to destroying somebody and i realize ah shit it really isn't working right i'm trying to drive by on somebody and i see it's not really working then i will be honest with myself and say this is not going to work and then I'll try to survive long enough for the star to go away. And then at that point, I will reevaluate where I am and see if I can go on the offensive or not. But it just seems like a lot of people are simpleton. And they fight in the 1v4 that they're not going to win. They die and they might not complain, but some do. And they could have prevented all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, so that's really what it'd be. I think we can do without the stun gun, but if it comes back, whatever it is, that's fine. But whatever adjustment the stun or, or whatever adjustment they can do to the stun gun, the first shot is always the same. The old stun gun, you get your first shot off. If you miss, then you're probably dead, right? It's probably. Uh, but at least you can recover after a few seconds to get the stun gun to come back up. But you change the stun gun, the first shot is always the same. Now, if you miss, then maybe it's more of a penalty, dependent on... Okay, I'll take a look in a second. Uh, maybe if you miss, it's more of a penalty, but the first shot is always the same. And if you come across a cocksucker that don't miss the taser, then they don't miss, and the first shot is always the same, no matter how you change it. Who's this? <laughs> Let's see here. Um, so Vega said, uh, more people would rather have it back or adjusted than ones who wanted to stay gone. I understand that. Uh, honestly, if I wasn't lazy, I would have uh, gone through the replies in that survey and i would have uh brought broke it broken it down based on <laughs> who doesn't want it back and who wants it back and like for example who wants it back as it was before and who wants it back but adjustments uh hasta capybara said that uh the the gta scenery doesn't taste it perfectly very short range and the cooldown is very long and you need to be very close to use it. And if you miss once, then you are finished. Well, yeah, I mean, that was already a thought process in that huge 
topic by Marshall on how to change the taser. But like I said, the first shot is always the same. There was already a penalty for missing the first taser shot. All you're going to do is just increase the penalty for missing the first taser shot. But the first taser shot is always the same across the board. So, you know, that's really what it be. What's going on, NG General? Sanders says. Oh, I gotta jump down here. What is this? Oh, all right. It is identify you. Well. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this, honestly. So, identify you has gotten that ass banned, it seems. Um, I mean, to be fair, nobody can join, so I think most of us are in the same boat as him right now, so, yeah, I don't, oh, uh, yeah, Rip in Peace to identify you, by the way, I guess, so, not too sure what to say about, what is this? The Undertow just said in the, uh, the stage chat, just because more people want their own version put back in doesn't mean it's worth doing at this point the whole thing is a quagmire i forgot what the word quagmire means we the only quagmire <laughs> that i know is uh in a uh, family guy let's google that right quick okay i see i see yeah yeah it should be thrown out once and for all uh tasers are anti crazy bobs well Listen, I don't. I I could go with the stun gun, but there there was no stun gun in San Andreas, so I'm not really sure where that phrase comes from. Anti crazy bobs. I don't think that should be a thing. Uh, I can't connect either. Okay, yeah, you see, you know, that's what it'd be. I wonder if somebody can. Uh, hey, I I should have told somebody the advertising game. Well, I guess it's too late for that. But uh, yeah, that's that's. What is this? Okay, we're not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, that's basically my thoughts about that. I when I saw what he said yesterday, I don't think he told a lie, but it is an opinion, obviously. And we all have opinions, and as they say, opinion we all got opinions just like assholes, and I'm not gonna finish the thought. So we got a hand up, ladies and gentlemen. We got a hand and it is tank. Oh, get him up here. So Vegas and I sing very badly, obviously. It's very difficult to do the Pimp C voice, man. He's got a very unique voice, and I think I rapped a bit too quick there. I found myself going a bit too quick, so I just stopped to reset the flow a little bit, because whenever Rashoff projects voice, it cuts out, and I can't hear anything, so I just have to guess where he is in the rap. So, yeah, Tank up here. What's, what's going on, man? All right, so beforehand uh i was in the discord reading uh chat then mentioned my name saying i'm waiting for tanks of opinion about these <laughs> new admins all right asshole oh. here to get it good choice good pick and i don't care about <laughs> it you know good it's just about time you know seven yeah seven right seven yeah all right yeah good pick you know good squad right there especially yeah. the q and q you know yeah right. i was surprised yeah but yeah Mm -hmm. a long time he, he deserved this since um crazy bob you know no comment i have to think about that but no comment half of these kids were still in the nutsack so they don't know about it so <laughs> yeah. q and is a boss man uh but i have to think about that a little bit yeah but he but, does know yeah. the server in inside and also well that is true yeah. Yeah. so okay i was you know i've been playing for you know what now three weeks now so as a cop Oh, yesterday was the last time I played. Ah, uh, shit! Speaking of cop, uh, um, I guess I could say it is kind of hard for a cop to know when and when to arrest a person. But I kind of do miss the taste because at least the person will not lose a life insurance if you kill him. It's a fair kill. Oh yeah. So they won't lose a fucking life insurance. That's one thing on my side, my opinion. Then again, you have those people that their egos are so fragile because, you know, it's a game, you know, fucking leave your ego out the door when you come in here. 
because there's no eagles. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna teach their own. And people are like, oh, it should be like GTA. See, not shut the fuck up. We're different. <laughs> we're different. We're different servers. We're not the same. We don't want to be like other servers. We are unique. So I don't know why you're trying to change something to like another server that probably half of us don't even want to touch. Yeah. You know, if I kind of do agree, we should put it back in. But I think the range should change. Yeah. There's, there's yeah. Currently, you could be at least in front of them, or well, I don't know how, like, how many steps you have to be to actually tase them to work properly. Because if you could shoot from farm range, I'm like, it's terrible. I mean, you do remember the drive by, right, with the tasers? Yeah, that was that was awful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit. Not too many people crying about anything, man. I mean, I seen it firsthand as a cop. I'm like, hmm. Uh, speaking of this, right? right? This is for everybody. And if you do do agree with those idiots, <laughs> there's a felon, right? So there's a felon flying a helicopter, picks up his friends. You know, you, of course, you're a cop. You go like, hey, you know, you press your num- uh, number two key or your fucking middle mouse button to you know, tell them to get off, whatever, right? Don't listen. They fly off. You shoot at them. And then you get the whole bunch of fucking... Idiots. I was gonna say the other word, but the, a bunch of idiots on on the helicopter. Yeah, you cannot shoot. We're innocent, and he's a, he's a feminine eh. crying little bitches, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> you, so you you stand. You, you think to yourself, okay, what the fuck, man? I like who are these rules for now? I mean, are you trying to bend the rules, or a cop can't do shit anymore because of all this shit going on, right? So now. See the same crew. The felon is in the in the helicopter as a driver for the ones that's stealing the jewelry. So the evangelical. I shoot at them. Oh, you cannot shoot the helicopter. This is felon. I mean, I go like go come. I even told them oh, like yeah, fucking complain on me, bitch. That fucking crying, right? So to my point is, and that motherfucker is not wanting to get off that fucking helicopter. It's shoot to kill, right? I I, I mean, oh, sorry, say that one more time. The last sentence we just said. The motherfucker deserves to die. That's a shoot to kill situation. Is it, he if he's in a helicopter, off, yeah. I mean, what else can you do? Right, right. And then people are complaining, telling me I don't know the rules. That that's against the rules. I mean, I could have been an asshole and really shut it down, but. You know, I was just going to let him cry because this whole situation with the cops being can't even touch anybody no more because these fucking crybabies. I mean, yeah, kind of sad. I, I kind of did leave up yesterday, changed back, went to fisherman because I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Man. <laughs> you can actually not. You cannot be having fun as a cop no more. Yeah, man, here been the thing. Uh, so every time I die as a every time I get a fair death, as a felon, 99% of the time, I know it's my fault. There was one time where, of course, Pat Mutic, right? He needs the high tea uh, meal plan coming to his house very soon. There was a moment where I was non starred, and uh, this is probably bug abuse, so he probably shouldn't destroy it, but he, uh, he jumped out of his car and ran, it, ran into me with it, right? And somehow, by the grace of the Bubba Jaivaman, that gave me a star. Even though I didn't hit him at all, I don't understand how that happened. Uh, but then he was able to give me a fair death. That was the only time where I, definitely it was not my fault. Mm. Well, you know, actually, no. I will say I probably should have surrendered, but you know, I guess it's a threshold. Not too sure. But every other time that I've died as a felon, or I get shot at as a felon, I know it's my responsibility. I know that I'm getting yeah. shot for a reason, and if I get my ass destroyed. Then it's fair game. This is the thing. Well, I don't right know there. where all this comes from. I, I like that's I'm telling you. I was playing a cop for these two weeks. I seen these cops going near people when they're arrestable and they shoot them down. And I'm like, yo, arrest them, bro. You know, he's fucking standing right there for you to arrest them. Stay down on the floor, motherfucker. I'm like, damn, the fuck? these guys are playing role play, but whatever. Okay. 
you see, yeah, if he's, if he's non starred like that, yeah, of course. This is the issue when I was testing out this script with uh, what's I'm um, promising Pope for oh, yeah, testing the thing with where you know, if you hit the cop car or you hit the car, whatever you get wanted, or even the person. So I told him, like, are you sure this is gonna work? He's like, yeah, it does work. And we only tested it like three times, and I'm still telling him, I'm like, it's not, it's gonna be fucking abuse as hell. He's like, well, yeah, I know, but nobody's listening. And it's kind of true because, say, if you're a cop and I ram you, I'm gonna get wanted. And it's gonna be stupid because probably I don't even wanna ram you on purpose. It's just an accident, you know? Yeah, yeah. Probably an accidental ram. There you go. Let's say that. Accidental ram. So happened. what happened with the Pat Murray complaint? See that right there? He blew Ooh, up. Which one? Which one? The one where uh, the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That one, like that. That's a, a situation where it shows that he hit him. But you see, that's the whole. The, that's that script right there is so bad because, <laughs> and it still happens. Like because I was, I don't know who I was playing with. They jumped off the car and they died, and I got blamed for it. Even though there were passengers seat with me, and I didn't even touch them. I mean, yeah, I mean that happened to Crazy Bobs too sometimes. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's really a fault of the script. It just, uh, I don't know, it just happens. Yeah, you know I mean, still but wonky, man. I, I think he was being a smart ass. You know what I mean? Because if you take a look at the chat, he was like, "Oh no, you killed me." Uh, we know oh, how Ron, we know how Ron plays, anyways. But you know what? One thing actually. I don't. I mean, I know this is gonna sound too fucking drastic, but I think for now, some certain houses should be removed, or every house needs to be somehow reworked because, yeah, that shit ain't happening again. Because, like I said, one, no, I know I didn't say it here, but Cristania, uh, some other group of cops, and I were chasing some guys inside a a trailer house, and oh, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I, I stepped on the checkpoint, right, waiting for her to go out. But somehow I went through the door, chased one of the wanted guys. I sh I killed, I guess, I don't know if you could call it, uh, like, what? what is it? A third part uh, or whatever. Yeah, I killed oh, him in there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I killed him in that part. When I went back into the trailer, this is funny, his um friend was not in there. So yeah, I yeah. I get out and then go back in. And he's in there shooting, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So, yeah, that, that's uh, definitely a bug. Yeah, this, this house are fucking bug. I mean, for real, you need as a community to start reporting this shit and stop hiding it from people because that's major abuse, man. That's not good. Also, they need to fix the jail cells at um, Mission Row because yesterday I was walking around the PD. I jumped through the door, so yeah. Rip peace. But, but yeah, yeah I, there was a, there I was see. a moment. Uh, go ahead. I, I re just reported a bug live, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there there was a moment where uh, I remember we were playing cop and we uh, broke into somebody's house, and I spawned inside, and then somehow I got through the door. Right, so there's basically a virtual world within his house, and I could go in and out of his house, and it was kind of weird. So. Yeah, but yeah. the good thing you can't do anything and then like cause havoc, but that's just the only way that you could uh, hide forever and not get like get arrested. Like the simple person or a person that just you know obeys something or is used to just going to the checkpoint, they're not gonna realize that they're like oh, okay whatever. That 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 is true. That is true. That's uh, I think uh, what was this? Yeah. The yeah, because yesterday I was just like, when I got arrested, I was jumping around the cell and somehow I just pop out outside and I'm like, what the hell? Like, this is not supposed to happen, you know? See, so I told the saying, uh, it has been reported. However, it has uh, been unnoticed. Was this? Well, I don't know when the first time it was reported, right? But... Maybe it was in the uh, forums. Really? Yeah. 
I feel like always. it was on the forums because you know a lot of people reported a lot of stuff there, and I think it went unread. <laughs> wow. I don't see that. Also, you know what? Speaking of somebody about the Eagles, I just remember there's an idiot out there that got banned for some stupid shit that he was. Well, I could say stupid things because he was talking too much with his mouth. You know, had his foot in the mouth disease. Yes. I'm gonna say this right now. If you actually want to get on ban and you want to do it on a ban pill, fucking leave your ego out the door and just admit that you're fucking wrong and whatever you did was childish. Probably they will fucking accept it or not, but leave your fucking ego out the door, man. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. That's, that's the issue. Everybody's ego in here is so fucking fragile. Fuck, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I think that's part of the uh, the 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 felons and the trying to stay alive in situations that they're not like going to stay alive in. Heist, uh, he goes Eagle, so man. Fragile. <laughs> but he's a, he's a different problem. But yeah, man, it is it is kind of ego a little bit. You feel me? So yeah, that's what it'd be. Um, the Lars wants to come up. Yeah, he does. Right. GG Tank, uh, great as usual, of course. So throw your ass back down with uh, GG. Does Bacon know he's muted? I think so. All right, so <laughs> I'll bring Belair up here. Last week he was supposed to tell us about the about his Bubba Jayavaman excursion, but then the Bubba Jayavaman got the show uh, postponed to Sunday, so he couldn't come up. So I've given him permission to speak, but. I guess he's there's something wrong. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know what to say in that situation. Yes. Yes. Hold on, I need to give me a few seconds. Let me just get the audio proper. Yeah, you got to make sure the audio is proper for us to know about the Bubba Jiva Man excursion you had for the month. Yo, so what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Answer them, guys. Answer them. How y'all doing? Answer I mean, them. I mean, it's just a. Uh, I guess they're just answer in their mind. No. Yes. No. Let me tell you this. I know you guys have been playing by them, um, CNRNG, whatever other game. Star, Miss Star, Star Fox, Star Dew, Star, Star Millsap, Star Horford, whatever it is. But do you realize that? You guys are not necessarily enjoying the game as much as you can. But, but the, the thing is that you guys could actually enjoy those games more. You know, right? Do you know? How, how, how can we enjoy it more, though? Let me tell you. If you guys are addicted to the game, it, 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 it kind of really lose the, what I call it, that novelty, that newness. True. So, as I thought, like in your days, you have to diversify. You have to diversify what you do in the days, right? Exactly. So, let's say if you do, let's say painting and then cooking and then um, you do a software development, you know, throughout the day, right? And then you reward yourself with a with a, with a CNR NG game time. You will definitely enjoy the game fifteen fold and 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 you realize the the community is so toxic, not really toxic but just too sensitive sensitive bitches and <laughs> <laughs> yeah ex- so the reason why people are sensitive bitches is that they don't diversify the days all they just do is little sit down and play a little games right and then that is what the bubble driver man feeds off of. What I've realized over the five weeks is that the Boba Jaiba man is creating insecurity in people's life. They have Boba Jaiba man. What they do? They invest in tech stock companies, right? Like the Meta, um, the X before it was private Twitter. Um, they invested in like entertainment, play sports. Yeah, yeah, that's Meta. Um, they invested in yeah 
they, <laughs> they invested in um Twitter, Facebook, every fucking thing in the world. Everything entertainment. Look at the Nasdaq in index. It have all the tech companies. Literally, the Bubba Jiver man invests like millions, maybe to I don't know the exact figures, but they invest a lot of money in Nasdaq index as well as the individual stocks as well. They are making money off of entertainment. You know what entertainment does? Entertainment masks on insecurities. The entertainment industry enhances your, in, your insecurities, especially in social fucking media. Is they're in the business of making you insecure and insecure cause all of these dumb addiction that's going on. You guys need to make sure that you guard yourself. Guard yourself. Go make sure that yo, whatever insecurities you have, you get it sorted. And when you get it sorted, you're less likely to be addicted to these games. You're less likely to be addicted to be lazy. You need to take personal agency for what's going on in your life. Or else you guys are going to be fed and accept the bullshit that's going on right now. So, what is it going to be like? What is it? What is, what is, what is the next decision you guys going to take? Are you guys going to sit down and make these agencies of destruction take your life over to a point where you're addicted to these games, addicted to the to whatever else, to the drugs, to the alcohol, or are you guys going to make sure that yo, if there's any problems you have in your life, any insecurities or whatever you have in your life, you make sure that is really unlocked so that you can take control enjoy the games in a way it should be enjoyed that's what the bubba jiver man don't want the bubba jiver man don't want you to take control of your life exactly because they make money in the entertainment business there's nothing wrong with spending money on entertainment but moderation we all know i've been saying you know, you've been saying this moderation cool and then another thing i realized what's going on is that the bubba jive man is using these news agencies to 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 spread like outrage and so on like hopelessness that's a key term of you know the world today everybody's hopeless about the economy about you know other stuff and that's what they right. eat off of like the advertisement money look where the, yo put put the put like put the trail of where the money is coming from outrage uh, hopeless uh, uh, uh. you're making money off of that so go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You have any I, was gonna say, I was gonna say uh a few months ago right i was kind of uh surprised and like shocked i understand it is this is the 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 you know the cnr sphere and all that but i was kind of surprised how many people around here don't want kids i'm actually very shocked are you shocked by that because i'm actually very shocked by that people don't want kids like they don't, yeah, want, yeah, kids. They don't, they don't want to carry their lineage on i, I just I don't understand that i mean this is what happens when you know when there's this their generation right now nothing there's it have its good but it's more like a shot in generation where there's not much of a balance um where people can't differentiate between like um what it is like living on the internet versus what it is like living outside the internet i think that um the internet as in skews negative and what that does is that there's like the perception of reality is altered so oh, that's what's going on i don't know the reason why people don't want to have kids well at least b bird have kids but they don't want more kids ah uh, well, yeah, well, that's fine yeah but like if you don't have any like i don't understand it because because man and woman had to fuck for you to get here so it's like why would you, yeah, like, <laughs> why would you want to carry that on? i don't understand that honestly but it, it, lineages, lineages of man and woman fucking for your grandparents and great grandparents and great 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 grandparents to get here, and it comes down to you, and you don't want to carry that on. I know, I don't really understand that, but you know. Yo, yeah. listen, you realize Nigeria, Haiti, um, those countries are having a massive 
hike on India, massive hike of population. Yo, they're so fertile. And then I realized, like in the um, we call it the we call it the first world countries, yeah. the um, population is kind of either steady, dwindling. But I think um, the U.S. is will continue to grow because of the immigration. You know, people are immigrating to the U.S. But um, people are saying that oh, you know, life is hard. Life is hard. Life is hard. So basically, what what's going on in it, what I see on the internet right now? People are saying, "Oh my word, everything is so dystopian. Everything is so dead. life is hard. Life is hard." And then when you tell yourself life is hard, you accept the oh life is hard as your reality, and it will continue to be a reality until you step up and do something about it. Because the Bubba Jiva man wants hopelessness to rise, to reign, to dream, so you can be a to Netflix, abuse Netflix, abuse substances, abuse the games. Listen, the more hopeful you are, the more you know, more you, you're tending to want to solve the problems in your own life or in your community. The more hope you have, and maybe the more hope you have of the future, if you believe that you can find a way, whatever the way is, I hope it's legal, um, <laughs> you are more likely to i don't know afford houses afford let's say a farm afford a car you know afford you know like children so you can you know we call it um continue the lineage it's the oh, hopelessness that's going on i just want to play some uh because you said something about people saying uh uh life is too high i just want to play this for seven seconds who the hell is that? That's Slim Dog. Uh, no, uh, it's it's MJG. He's he's uh, he's a down south rapper. So oh yeah, it sounds like yeah, sounds like a Houston rapper. Yeah, yeah. Stop crying like a bitch. Censored life ain't fair. Well, I'm not telling people who to cry and who not to cry, but dog, whatever you wanna do, take in control of your life because the Bubba Jiva man. Is going to ensure that you are literally depressed and you know out of control. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The thing to take out from that is make sure that you find a way to control your life and don't make the Bubba Java man put you in this spiral of hopelessness, <laughs> depression, and addiction. And then once they do that, and then once people do that, they can enjoy the games a little bit, bit more. They can stop crying over these little complaints and oh this person dm you and you know just these little things in the game if you actually take more agency you're you're more likely to be less you know complaining of little things in the little game so this is the way that cnr ng can get better yeah i love that Valerius. actually uh put 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 the responsibility or make the responsibility be taken by the individual that's what we say brown yeah so i mean you could have stated that without yodeling but you know <laughs> what are you yodeling if you if if i never showed you wouldn't pay attention because the boring you know the boring voice nah cut it into his world. <sighs> yeah unfortunately Unfortunately, if you say things like me, it's not going to appear. It's really just got to start yelling shit. That's what it'd be. But uh, GG Balera, thanks for coming up. Uh, to to Vegas Chagrin, we're not going to do Agree or Read today. I was kind of surprised that we actually got this long here. I thought me being by myself here would be like a 40-minute show, but we actually got to the hour. So hopefully Agree or Read will come back next week. We talked about a lot of good shit here today. Next week, we will sing badly again. Hopefully not as long as I did today. Uh, but that is what it'd be. So, so yeah. Uh, unless somebody else has their hand up and ha uh, and puts their hand up by the time I finish saying the sentence, we been finished here today. So, for Tank, for Belarus fighting the Bubble Java Man, and Bega, who is waiting patiently for a re, -re. This has been Rashad, and we'll see you next time on the...
Punk Reshow. Somebody get me in the damn server, please.